What's up? How y'all doing? Y'all, we are back with kicking it. Look, I can't believe we're on episode seven. Like, that's crazy. What's up to the people just joining? How y'all doing? Hey. Y'all, I'm happy. We are back with another episode. Hey, I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. What's up? What's up? Hey. Yes, I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. Can I get a shout out? What's up? Trail Walker. Hope that's how you spell it. Kicking it with Christian. Yes, we back. What's up, Charlie? How you doing? Hi, Disney Sydney to the max underscore. What's up, CJ? Hey. Y'all, um, today's topic is um protecting your peace. What's up, Isaiah? I'm going to bring y'all on in a little bit. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hey. What's up? What's up? Um, Guys, today's topic is about protecting your peace. Um, And I feel that one way to do that is surrounding yourself with the right people. I preach this all the time. It's so important to surround yourself with the right people um, because, you know, you don't want to just you want to be hanging out with people who are fun and energetic. But you also want to be hanging out with people who motivate you and make you a better person and make sure, you know, you're staying productive and uh, they hold you accountable and you do the same. What's up? Hey, that's right. Protect that peace. You heard me? Um, But yeah, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think um, could be another way to protect your peace. I got addicted to Cindy to the max. (laughs) New episodes coming soon. Hi, how am I doing? I'm doing great. Happy to be back. What's going on? All right, guys. So I want you to comment um, superheroes. Comment superhero emojis because, well, why you may ask, because we have the first real life mother-son duo to be cast as superheroes. We got Miss Brittany Perry Russell and Isaiah Russell Bailey in the building. They're coming to kick it with us today. I'm excited. We're going to catch up with them, see how they've been coping with the quarantine. Hey, I see that superhero emoji. Super excited. Y'all, they've been killing the game. Yes. They start in the hit movie, We Can Be Heroes, on Netflix, and also on Family Reunion, also on Netflix. What's up? Hey, I see all these superhero emojis showing all the love. No, I need to look. Do it again. What's up? Loving all the superhero emojis, y'all. What's up, Grandma? Hey, yes, superhero. All right, um, let's go ahead and bring him on. Hey, all right, um, hold up. I still don't see it. You just did it? Hold up. Give me a second, y'all. We almost there. Oh, I see. Great. Okay. Let me pin it. All righty, let's go ahead and bring him on. I got to find him. I got to go. Huh? You what? Um, oh, I'm trying to find it. Y'all, I got to scroll all the way up. Loving all these comments. Okay, there y'all are. I'm bringing y'all on. Good luck. Is it? Why is not working? Hi. Hi. What's up? How are you? 
I'm good. How are you guys? Good. 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 Thanks for coming on. Thank well, you thanks for, for having, having us. us. Of thanks. course, of course. Happy to have y'all on. I'm excited to chat with y'all, see what y'all been up to. Yes. Good. How have you been? How's your family? We good. You know, we hanging in there, trying to cope with the quarantine day by day. How about y'all? Good. Same, 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 same. Just same. Trying to stay busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amen to that. Amen to that. Um, well, before we start, I just want to say congrats on everything because you guys are killing the game right now. Y'all are doing yeah. great. Um, you, and I must say, yeah, yeah, y'all just killing it. Um, so for those who are just joining us, we have Miss Brittany Perry Russell and Isaiah Russell Bailey in the building. Y'all, they are dancers, they are actors, they are they're models, they do parkour, they do all of it. Okay, y'all not ready for them. Um, and not to mention Y'all doing it for the culture, all right? Come on. Um, hey, <laughs> hey. Um, yeah, that's just so inspiring and uplifting for kids and families all around the world. So keep doing y'all. Um, all right, so I like to start off the show with a little game called This or That. Okay. Um, and so I just give you two options and you tell me which one you rather. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, so the first one is introvert or extrovert? Um. I'm um, you're an introvert. introvert for sure. Introvert? Okay. I'm gonna like with a party. I'm an extrovert. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Okay, I see you. Yeah, I'm gonna like with a party too. I yeah, love I remember you stuff. guys at the twins' birthday party. Yeah. I have footage of you. Yes. Get it in. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was fun. That was. That fun. was super fun. Yeah, I think I didn't know how to roller skate at that time, so I was struggling. <laughs> but I got through it. It was fun though. It was fun. <laughs> Yeah, really um, okay. I was struggling too. Oh yes, <laughs> we all were. <laughs> um, okay, water park or theme park? Theme park for me, for sure. Ooh, that's a good question. Water park. Water park. Okay. I love swimming. You love swimming? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I know Disneyland is opening up. I think they said April first in Magic Mountain. Yeah, that's a that little scary. Yeah. I don't know if we, we're ready for all that. Right. I know. It's, yeah. it's an adjustment. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Limited capacity, of course, but it's going to be interesting. Yeah, for sure. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, now, I say I know you like to build stuff, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, I Yes. Do. Okay. So, Legos or Minecraft? Which Ooh. one? <laughs> Ooh. Decisions, decisions. decisions. I, I gotta say Legos. I gotta say Legos. Because it's right Legos. in front of you. On Minecraft, right. you're not really building it. You're building uh -huh. it on the iPad or phone or mm -hmm. Xbox. What about you, Christian? Uh, I prefer Minecraft, me, if I had to choose. Really? Okay. Yes, I love Minecraft. Minecraft is dope. I, I still play it. <laughs> I mean, it takes it takes patience to build oh, Legos, though. I can't lie, because right. I did it for a little while, and it didn't last too long. <laughs> it's not easy doing that, for sure. I see people in the comments, okay, Legos, okay. I see somebody saying Legos, theme parks, okay, okay. All right, so the woe. Or the, I don't know what you call this, the front side back. Is that what you call Oh, you can say the whoa. Yeah, he, he loves the whoa. The whoa, the beat drop. <laughs> oh, that was clean. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I love this. Yeah. I don't yeah, you like that? Oh, okay. Yeah, survive. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. Um, Homebody or travel? Hmm. I'm for sure a homebody. I'm actually like, even okay. though I'm goofy and silly and I embarrass him all the time, I'm I'm really laid back and I don't like to go out. See, much. can I say both? It depends on the day. Yeah, it oh, really okay. does depend on the day. Some days I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> Some days I can actually get out the house. Yeah, that's the. I feel like we're the same though because I do the same thing. Like I like traveling. But some days I just want to be in the house. Right. Yeah. yeah. And my mom is the same way. Like she loves being inside. I'm like, come on. Yes. She's like, no, let's just relax. I'm like, yeah. oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Hats or sneakerhead. 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 I, sneakerhead. I, I collect, yeah, I collect retro Jordans. I grew up with a lot of brothers, and mm -hmm. so I just learned a lot about shoes growing up. I'm a huge Jordan fan, so. I have an insane amount of sneakers. No, she will criticize me on the shoes I <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, she'll yeah. say, I'm like, no, okay. not getting those, you're getting these. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, all right. I it's gave up my to the people who are just joining. So what about you? Sneakerhead. Sneakerhead? Because I learned from the best. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, okay. I see y'all. Um, okay, home cooked meal or eating out? Mm, that's such a hard question. We don't eat out a lot, but when we do, we really enjoy it. Because I know yeah. for me, I like good conversation and good food. So it's like, okay, that's a, that's a good moment going out. But we eat at home. Most we, of the time. Yeah. I, I do the cooking. I'm the best cook in the family. So. Oh, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Lies. Uh, <laughs> she can make a good salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait, okay, because y'all sure. reminded me of me and my mom because I always clown her on how the stuff she can cook. I'm like, oh no, I'm the best cook for sure. Oh, uh, really? What do you like to cook? Um, I cook a little, some little cornbread and a little cake. Oh, you no, know, not too much, you know. Okay. Yeah, y'all from Texas. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. My yeah. dad is actually a really good cook. So he like he made dinner last night because mm -hmm. I was I was studying oh. for um another project I'm working on. Uh -huh. like, I'll make dinner and he did a great job. Oh, what you made? Uh I made Brussels sprouts, garlic Brussels sprouts, um, sweet potatoes, Ooh. and a salad. And a salad. But, so we Ooh. became vegan. Uh -huh. So we're like really heavy on the vegetables right now. All of our meals are just straight vegetables. So uh -huh. we're learning how to prepare them in different ways, if that makes sense. But before they were making shrimp scampi. Oh. Yeah, it's shrimp, salmon, like all that stuff. So we're just trying to pull meat. That sounds out. really good. Yeah. I love that y'all are promoting healthy eating. I love that. Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's hard during quarantine, especially. You know? Yes. It yeah, is. I'm a snacker, so my mom. Me too. Most of the it, <laughs> it's dangerous. Like, <laughs> I can't have snacks in the house with me because they will be gone in a day. So <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Um, big parties or small gatherings? I, I, I think I know your answers. Yeah. No, please. Yeah. A small gathering. I mm. I actually kind of freak out when it's a lot of people, which people mm -hmm. would be surprised because. Like I'm a dancer and an actor and I'm always around a lot of people, but yeah. I'm I'm really kind of shy. So a lot of people tend to overwhelm me. So definitely like a small gathering. I'm a big party guy. Yes. Me too. Go <laughs> well, big or go home. Dance floor. There's a lot of food, you know, because I'm I'm an eater. Like I just said. Yes. <laughs> me too. That's why I gotta stay working out. Cause I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um Sweets or salty? Oh. <laughs> Y'all won't look at it. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'll answer for him. Sweets. We get into it all the time on set because, mm -hmm. you know, he'll come in the room and I'll hear his pockets. And I'm like, what's, <laughs> what's in your pockets, dude? And he's emptying out, like, chocolate chip cookies and... Jolly Ranchers. I'm like, okay, you're doing the most. Jolly Ranchers is my favorite candy. I can't go with those. Yeah. It's no, been so like... long since I had a Jolly Rancher, but they are so good. I know. <sighs> They're so bad for you. Don't eat them. So. I know. It's real hard being on. Oh, I lost y'all for a second. Oh, y'all back. <laughs> um, it's hard being on set because, I mean, they have food all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So it is so hard because I'm always eating something on set. And to them, a snack is a chili dog, mac and cheese, and fries. Yeah. Like, this is <laughs> not a snack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you still are you still filming right now? Are you in the middle? I am. I'm on hiatus right now though. Oh, I'm still uh, filming. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you guys have good craft service. Yes, we do. Uh, to me, that's the best part of being on set. Free food. <laughs> hey, free ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it's yeah. Are you guys still shooting? No, no we, we just finished. Just wrapped. Just yeah. wrapped. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's definitely dangerous though. Um. Okay. Bike rides or skating? Bike rides or what? Skating. That's funny because we were just talking oh, about oh, oh, skating at the party. Oh, for sure. Um, roller skating for me. Like I, I get down to get down. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nah. I drop it like it's hot. I'm scared. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm embarrassing him. Okay, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> uh, jeez. Okay. Uh, does skateboarding count? 
Yeah. That okay, counts. Skateboarding. 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 I don't skateboarding. Trip. Okay. All right. You be doing cruise. tricks on the skateboard? Mm -mm. No, I no. Didn't. And my mom won't let me. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah I feel that. It hurt. You can't get hurt. Yeah, it makes yeah. you feel nervous when he tries to. So like, my mom nah. still gets nervous when I'm flipping. Yeah. Parkour is oh, enough. I know because you do parkour. Wow. Yeah, that's, that, that's enough for my heart. I don't know. With like skating tricks is yeah, I can't take it. <laughs> okay. I well, used to, I know I used to ride a longboard. So would you say like have you ever rode a long longboard, I think? Mm-hmm. Which one you say would be harder? Hmm. At what? Longboard or skateboard? I gotta say skateboard. Longboards have skateboard. those big wheels, so you keep your balance. That's what that's what I was thinking. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, skateboards have those tiny wheels. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Um Mavericks or Lakers? Uh, I got you, uh, Texas. Okay, okay. Texas <laughs> hard. Okay, well. Can we disappoint our family? Oh my God, my family. I hope nobody's watching. Uh, oh, I Lakers. get that. No, I get that. Lakers. Lakers. Yeah. Lakers. Okay. Us too. Us too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, well, that concludes this and that. That was oh, that fun. Fine. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so let's get into some questions. All right. So the first question I have for y'all is. How did the pandemic treat y'all? I know we talked about it a little bit earlier, but I just want to kind of expand on it. So was it rough or were y'all kind of able to go through it fairly easy? I mean, I would love to meet the person who says it was easy. Right. <laughs> like, like let, let me find you. Uh, it was, I mean, it's difficult to be it honest. Was, it it was. still is to a certain extent. Um, it's hard to not see our family the way that we want to, because I think what most people don't know about actors, we're considered considered essential workers. Mm -hmm. So you, I'm sure you're getting tested a lot, right? Three and, times a week. Yeah, and you're not allowed to travel. And even for a family reunion, at one point we were getting tested twice, twice a, a day. day because there were so Hold many up. people. Yeah, yeah. Twice a day? Well, yeah, yeah, there are so many people coming in and out and the uh, extras and guest stars. So. Because the show oh, that is, makes sense though. Yeah, yeah, so many people involved in the show. So we yeah. would do the rapid test early in the morning, then the PCR, PCR test later in the evening. So that that keeps you from being able to hang out with other people because if you test positive, you shut down an entire production. Yep. I know. It's nerve wracking because it's nerve wracking, right? It is. It is. So then that makes it difficult because even on the weekends when you're like, well, I can safely distance, you know, like hang out with somebody in right. the back of your mind, you're like, no, but it's not worth the risk. Yeah, exactly. So I'm sure you've had that conversation with your mom when you want to. All the time. Them, and she's like, ah, no, until you're down with production. So. I mean, that's been difficult. We haven't seen our family in over a year, which is rare for us. Um, and then it did, give a, it did give us time to hang out more, though. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Spend more time with my mother. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's hard. And my heart breaks for, you know, families that are like really, really struggling. Mm -hmm. I tell Isaiah all the time, we have to just stay in a place of gratitude because we're able to still work. Yeah, we're blessed to work at all. But there's so many people yeah. who still don't have jobs that are getting laid off. And so it's just, for me, I, I empathize with people and it's just, it's it's hard. It's hard. Some days are better than others, but it's, it's still very difficult. Yeah, it is hard. It is. And it's also, like you said, nerve wracking when you're on the show and you're like, oh my God, if I get COVID, I'm shutting down the whole production. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people don't get like the magnitude of that is, oh, yes. I mean, that's like billions of dollars when you're the one that tests positive, you know, exactly. and nobody can come to work. So it's it's hard. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Speaking of <laughs> <my team>. um, <laughs> okay, so what was your favorite meal or snack during the pandemic that you just had to have almost every day? You know, it's my shrimp scampi. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we, we fell in love with shrimp skin. <clears throat> I don't know why, but that was was the it moment. was it Olive Garden after we went with Cameron? I don't know. We just we tore up shrimp skin. Yeah. Shrimp was the thing. I started while. making it. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> so, All right, we got to cook me some by the way y'all talking. I'm gonna have to try some of that food. All right, <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right. Yeah. Now I I mentioned I heard earlier you said Brussels sprouts. 
Do you like, okay, so do you like burnt Brussels sprouts? Like, you, cause you know, some, some people like the crispy Brussels yeah, sprouts. Yeah, some no, people just like regular. We do crispy, but I, yeah. I don't really like the crispy that much. I can, mm. I can take a crispy Brussels sprout, but I like the more chewy ones. Okay. Okay. I can do I can do that to a certain extent. I, I, they gotta I be like seasoned though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um well speaking of the pandemic, I definitely know TikTok helped a lot of people out. Oh yes. Yes. Definitely kept kept me entertained and it's still yeah. keeping me entertained to the oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what's up everybody in the comments? What's up? Um, yeah, it's still keeping me entertained. And y'all I love y'all content. Y'all be getting in y'all TikTok. Thank you. <laughs> Thank and it's you. hilarious too. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say, big fan of your TikToks. Um <laughs> so, and, you, and you guys have too. over a million followers. Like that's crazy. That's Thank you. Thank you. That's a really big accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We don't know why, but we'll take it. <laughs> <I really> don't. <laughs> don't know why. That's huge. Thank you. It's just, I think it's weird because it happens so fast. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. We, we've only been on TikTok for like a little under a year. So it's like, oh, okay. You like what we do. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I get that. Yeah. Things move fast. Things move yeah. fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So um, what has been one of your favorite trends on TikTok so far that you guys have done? I already know what he's gonna say. He thinks he's. Yeah, he looked ready. He looked ready. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I'm just playing. Uh, my last TikTok. You know the one where um, you contradict what someone says and you use that music that goes. Duh, 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 yes. Trick. That one. Yes, I love that one. It's hilarious. Yeah. And the other people who did it had some really good jokes. Yeah. It's Me and my mom were laughing at the one you did, and everybody <laughs> else was like, "That sound has so like it's hilarious." Yeah. And now, <laughs> I was just about to get to that. Now, I can't lie. You represented for all the kids in that video. But I was scared for you. I was exactly. I was scared yeah, for no, you. Believe me, I was scared for myself because my mom was standing right next to me. <laughs> oh, look, I didn't know if you was going to make it. You said, then who raised me? I was like, uh oh, shot is fine. That's yeah, no, it's, yeah. I think he said, how many, like almost 13 million views on that? <laughs> And the funniest comments were like, your mom was going to hurt you. Yes, I was. Because he didn't tell me he was going to do that. So, yeah, when he, he posted, didn't. I was like, excuse me. Excuse me. So I was like, clearly you've been thinking about that. Because I, I have said that to him before. So. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure all moms had at some point. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Who? Well, I'm just happy. It's a blessing that you're still here with us. <laughs> <laughs> it is a blessing. Barely. Uh, yeah, barely. <laughs> <laughs> um okay um so let's get into the wonderful industry world so what was it that inspired each of you to want to get into this business and pursue a career in entertainment well um i mean i started out as you know like a a, a four-year-old in the south and their parents put them in in dance and i liked it but i think you know, when I got a little bit older and started to do commercials and and modeled, because in Dallas, there's a, a pretty big commercial market. Mm -hmm. I realized like, oh, this is something I want to do. And then mm -hmm. the teen years came and I was like, I just want to be a kid. But um, around 16, I auditioned for a play to Debbie Allen, came to Texas to produce. And I really wanted to audition for it, but the lead needed to be a, a really great trained dancer. And I was like, oh, it's been a while since I've done this. I probably won't get the part. Right. My brother was auditioning. So my brother is an incredible um, contemporary dancer. Uh, he was daily for a little bit, Dance Theater of Harlem. So he was auditioning. And I knew he'd get it, but I thought, mm, I probably won't. Lo and behold, I got it and was having a conversation with Debbie about what I wanted to do when I graduated. And she just kind of put this bug in my ear. I think maybe you should really focus on dance and acting. I think you can do both. And that really changed the trajectory of my career. I don't know what it was, but after that, I was like, you're right. I'm leaving college and I'm gonna go um, to New York. And my family was like, the heck you are. <laughs> I was like, okay, how about LA? So um, my mom agreed, and I came out to L.A. very young and 
just started pursuing a, a dance career because I knew dance would be a stepping stone for acting. I, so I, I focused on that first and by the grace of God, my career took off, you know, fairly quick. So, wow. yeah, yeah. No, you have done so much. You've danced with so many people. That is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yeah. Well, for me, what inspired me to become an actor was really being with my mom. She had to take me on uh, to set with her all the time. She's a single mom. So yeah. being around all those actors and dancers kind of inspired me to pursue acting as a career. And when I first asked my mom, she said no. And I beg I did. You. I did. I, well, I was <laughs> thrown off because... Throughout the years, you know, if he was on set with me, sometimes people would ask, like, hey, can, he, say no. can he do this co-star or a little guest star? And no. he, I was like, no, no, no. So I'm like, great. My kid's not going to be an actor. Boom. Like, I don't want him in this business because, you know, there's a lot of rejection. Mm -hmm. And um, yes. then, I don't know, like, around sixth grade, you just decided, like, I think this is something I really want to do. And, and it was random. It caught my mom off guard. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Literally in the car just said, hey, mom, you think I could be an actor? She said, what? Yeah, it just kind of threw me off for a bit. So. I understand, though, why she didn't want you to be in the business. You know, yeah. it was just, it's not easy. I mean, it is it. the business <laughs> plays with your head in so yeah. many different ways. It does. It does. What made you get in the business? Um, well, I've always loved watching TV, one. Okay. And I've always loved making people laugh and entertaining people. Yeah. You know, like we had little backyard barbecues and I would just like crack jokes and you know, people would laugh at my, my yeah. Kids, you know? Yeah. Um and it I really Disney Channel is what made me really want to act. Because okay. I've always wanted to be on Disney Channel since I was a little kid. Okay. And so I just knew that, you know, that's something that I wanted to do. And I used to dance as a little kid too. Um, but I just knew it was something that I wanted to do. So I asked my mom and at first she was like, mm, but you know, what yeah. here I am in LA. So. Yeah. How long have you been in the business? About four years now. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it's 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 definitely not easy. Not, oh, yeah. at, all. not at all. Not at all. Congrats easy. on your new project, by the way. You worked with my friend Phil, right? Yes, Mr. Phil. Yeah. Yes. We love him. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so was the business what you expected it to be? Versus like what truly, what it was once you started working and really got into well, it? I was, how old was I? When I asked? You told me. Okay, oh, no, so, you asked at 11 when you start working. Yeah. yeah. So when I first started, you know you go into the business thinking, oh, this is just going to be super fun. Oh, yes. uh, I'll get a yes. <laughs> and uh, I was pretty naive. I thought I was just going to walk in there and be like, yeah, you got it. <laughs> and that did not happen. There was a lot of rejection that came with me starting in the business. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I first started working like commercials mm -hmm. and modeling. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, Isaiah, Isaiah started working like crazy, uh, especially with modeling and commercials. And then I decided, okay, after, I think in six months, he booked like 14 national commercials. I was like, well, I think it's time that you start acting. Like, let's give this a go. Mm -hmm. And right off the bat, he started booking guest stars, but then he had to deal with a few situations where he was like, oh, so this is what rejection yeah. is like, which I'm sure you've dealt with. Oh, yes. You auditioned for something, like one project he auditioned for, I believe like 10 times. And then they kept saying he was the choice, like it was his, and he's done all these chem tests with everybody else, and then they he got it. And then the network came back a week later and was like, you know what, just kidding, we're going to go with somebody else. Nah. Uh-uh. That. That's Ooh, yes, yes. So he was like the hardest thing as a mom because you know he was like well okay this is how it is i don't know yeah. if i can take this I was like, i'm not sure if i can do yeah this. yeah, yeah but something like that that's like you've been you've been waiting for this moment you've been working yeah. hard for it they say you got it and then they come back and say no yeah oh, no, that's yeah. yeah but then it just i mean i'm sure you've you've realized this when you don't get something Truly, God has something better in yes, store because true. all of like a few weeks later, he read for family reunion. And I remember at that time, he was like, oh, whatever. Like, I'm just going to go in and just audition and do whatever. And uh -huh. auditioning with two friends. And they were just outside talking like no one cared. But y'all know Marianne and Mary. You know Marianne and Mary. Yeah. 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 
Mm. Yeah, and so he came out like, whatever, mom. And then the next day, another callback. Then another callback. He was like, am I about to book this? And he got it. So it just shows you he was supposed to be on something else. Yeah. What's for you will be for you. That's all what my mom tells me all the time. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, well, that's amazing. Wow. I didn't even know that. <laughs> and you. that's not easy to deal with. Oh, but you yeah. bounce back even harder. So, yeah. you know, that's what yeah. you got to do. Yeah. yeah, it's what comes with this business. I think people don't understand when they see you on television, it's this instant idea that yeah. this is just what our it's life pictures. is, that we just mm -hmm. book things. And yep. it's like, no, 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 no. Like, we probably auditioned like 40 times before we get a yes. Like, you know, what I mean? like people don't oh, get yeah. the amount of yeah, rejection that comes with it. So all the time i've dealt with rejection all the time i mean we all have anybody yeah. who was in the business have dealt with rejection yeah. yeah you know it comes with it it's not easy but you know it's about how we bounce back from it and deal with it so, yeah mm -hmm. yeah sure yeah um okay now miss Brittany, i know i talked about this a little earlier but you have toured with some incredible artists throughout your career so what was one of your favorite cities to perform in if you had to choose Oh, um, in the U.S., I always love York, Madison Square Garden. Um, mm -hmm. uh, one tour with Sierra, uh, who else performed? Uh, Jay-Z, Kanye, like T.I. And that was just kind of a magical moment because I love hip hop. So yeah, I love working with Sierra. She's really great. So yeah. I, I would always say like Madison Square Garden, but out of the country, um, Japan. I, I love going to Japan. That's where um, I want to go in a little Yeah. Japan. They, yeah, we all want to go there. Yeah. Too. <laughs> <laughs> they just love our culture and embrace us, and everyone's really nice. And I, I, I like when I go to Japan. It's fun. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, Isaiah, I know you are just a, you know, I mean, you're a naturally talented dancer. And I'm sure you learned that from your mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, so are you interested in possibly doing it professionally? Not really. <laughs> I, I, I'd say I'll just keep being an actor. Yeah, even uh -huh. when I was teaching at Debbie Allen's studio. He I wasn't would, really interested. He wouldn't take the class. It was free. <laughs> so nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll dance when some music comes on in the house, but I don't think I'll mm -hmm. take it up professionally. Okay. All right, that's all right, that's okay. Um, <laughs> so you guys not only have incredible individual careers, but you are able to work together. So, I mean, that that's a blessing. Um, now let's start with you, Miss Brittany. As a mom first, how are you balancing it all? I mean, you know, moms are the bomb. We can't lie, we wouldn't be able to do it without moms. Let's start there. Um, you um, know, y'all just wear so many hats, so. Yeah, I, I feel like a broken record because I get asked this question literally daily. Um, I don't find a balance. I try, but some days are better than others. Better than others. You know, yeah. like, I'll be honest, not too long ago, I had a breakdown and I was just, like, crying. And it was just because I was tired. Um, because I don't think people understand what it's like to just be a parent of a child in the business, let alone be in the business yourself. So. Yeah, it just it just takes a lot out of you. There are days where I'm just like, Isaiah, I just gotta go to the room. Can you just eat on your own? You know, and like I just I need a moment because I'm trying to juggle. So like for instance, right now he's preparing for a test. I want to make sure he's, you know, prepared for school. But then I am prepping for a new TV show, so I'm going through the script and like getting all that together because I'm actually doing choreography for it. Um, but then I'm auditioning for pilot season and having chemistry tests because I'm up for stuff. So it's just a little like, ah, but I think yeah. it's one of those things where I just focus on one day at a time, one moment at a time. And then I, I, I lean on God to just kind of get me through the rest. But I, I would never say that you can ever find a balance. And I'm sure your mother would agree. You just do mm -hmm. the best you can when you can do it. And I'm learning, especially now during the pandemic, to be patient with myself. I tend to want to be great at everything. I'm a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. And I've had to let that go because life now just looks completely different than it did in 2019. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I would, 
So that's my answer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're doing a great job. It's not easy, especially during the pandemic. Yeah. All moms. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, Isaiah, how are you balancing everything? You know, with school and, you know, going on set? Like, that's not easy. I know that's not easy. No, it definitely is not easy. I'm trying my hardest to balance school and working. I'm trying to keep my straight A's. But I'm also trying to, you know, get some work done. Auditions, that kind of keeps you from living a normal life. Yeah. Living a normal life. But <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to keep the balance. Trying my hardest. I mean, I feel for you, man, because it's not easy doing school and being yeah. on set and just trying to keep up with the schedule. It's, you know, it's oh, not yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. really is. What about yeah. you? What about you? Me? Yeah. Like I just said, it's not easy trying yeah. to balance it all. Um, but like I said, I try to keep my straight A's and do the best I could. Um, yeah. And we can't do it without moms. Yeah, so. that's true. That's yes. true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So. What so wait, your mother, your mother's not a single mom, is she? Uh, no. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what's one thing that y'all have learned from each other professionally? I want to hear what you're saying. I don't know. Has anybody asked us that? They asked me what I've learned from you. Yeah. I don't think anyone asked both of me. Us. Yeah, never both of us. Look at you. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what I've learned from Isaiah, which I just think is so incredible? Um, Isaiah has this ability to not, I don't know, like take things so seriously. I'm, I'm, I get so serious. I get a script. I'm like, okay, must get the script. Must be perfect. Right. Isaiah's not like that. I remember when he was filming episode of SWAT. It's a really intense scene oh. because the cops <laughs> arrest him. And, you know, and I was like, Isaiah, you need to just stay focused. Like, stay, you know, in that place. So when they say action, you're there. Was and there? I remember when they closed the door, he's outside of the door, like, you know, like dancing. <laughs> like, like, and cracking jokes, and cracking the jokes, time. and then they were like, uh -huh. and then he'd go into it, and he would be able to cry. And so I, I was in Video Village, like, what is this nut doing? <laughs> but that's his process, you know what I mean? Not everybody yeah. has to be like heavy and intense, and like he, he just has this ability of being able to like click into it that is really impressive to me, and. You know, he just, he's able to find a balance that, like, when we're working together, I just, I find amusing because we're so different in our process. I'm very mm -hmm. much a method actor. Mm -hmm. um, and Isaiah just rolls with it. Great with improv, mm -hmm. just does his thing. So I've, like, I've, I've learned a lot from him in that aspect to just not take it as seriously. You know, if that, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what I learned from you, no, incredible work ethic. My mom has incredible work ethic. I learned to, you know, focus more. Because like my mom said, I'll be in the camera just dancing and cracking jokes. Yeah. <laughs> but my mom works super, super hard on, like, say what she's doing now. She's reading the script, creating her um, choreography. And I'm just looking at her like, oh man, I want, I want to do, I want to do this. Yeah, well, well, and then too, like, I'm not even working on the job until next month. So yeah, that so gives you an idea. That gives you an idea <laughs> of my mom's process. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Incredible work ethic, like I said. Incredible. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. It's very intense. This one. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. I'm trying to keep myself aware, my mom is. Yeah. So. Wow, that's amazing. I, I think I'm kind of like you, Isaiah. I think I'm kind of like you. I feel like I can kind of snap like, into well, it. You know, I coach kids, and I'm starting to learn that I think all of you guys are like that, and it's because you don't have to pay bills. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is still that's, fun. That's true. And that's true. Right. adult actors, you know, it's about not only having fun, but putting food on the table, you know? And mm -hmm. so it it's it's more at stake, I think, for us. Especially the ones yeah. with kids, because you have to put food on the table for you yeah. and us. Yeah, and, and I'm yeah. learning to start having a more childlike heart in my approach. Mm -hmm. You guys just have a good time and you trust your instincts. 
Yeah. Whereas uh, adults, we tend to be in our head a little bit more about things mm -hmm. because we've dealt with more life experiences. So yeah. continue to have that. Like, I, I, I really love that about children. It's why I love to coach kids. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what it is. I, I can kind of snap in, into it like him. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So. What what advice for you have? What advice would you have for young kids out there um, or adults who are interested in acting or dancing? Well, for acting, cause you, I don't dance, but um, don't let anyone tell you what you can and can't accomplish. There may be the the no's, but you will get that yes. And remember, every no leads up to that one yes that you'll get. It prepares you for that. Mm -hmm. So you're ready. Yeah. Um. You know, with this business, I just think people have to understand that there's going to be a lot of sacrifice. That's true as well. Um, mm -hmm. I think as much as Isaiah enjoys it, the thing that I noticed with him is he was like, oh. I got to sacrifice hanging out with my parents. I have to sacrifice a lot. So, and you know what it's like. Like, you think you have the evening off. You're going to watch a, tele you know, a TV show or a movie, and the agent calls. Hey, I'm sending you an audition. It's nine pages, and the self-tape is due in the morning. And right. Like, okay, let me just push my sleeves up and like do this because this is what I'm passionate about. So, you know, and it's the same with adults. Um, it's, it's just, it's a lot of sacrifice. But what I've learned too is when you do get that yes, it's so gratifying mm -hmm. because you've challenged mm -hmm. yourself, you've worked so hard that you forget about all the rejection. Yes, yeah, such a good idea. Um, also, my advice would be to. You know, I, I think it's really important to also understand, like, what you put in, you get out. And I have Isaiah repeat that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I remember when I was working with Jennifer Hudson, I was asking her, like, you know, what drives you? She kept saying, I just knew that even though I was getting all this rejection, people thought I wasn't attractive. They thought I was fat. That if I kept pushing at some point, the universe, God, whatever, is going to be like, fine, you can have it. Like, you'll be famous. You're going to be great. Right. And I, I thought about that. You know, you just keep pushing, pushing, keep pushing, pushing. Never give up. And let any of those, you know, no's or rejection or hardships push you forward. You know what I mean? Instead of taking steps back, which is what we tend to do when we are, you know, sad, embarrassed, or disappointed. But that's a part of it. But it is so worth it. Like anybody that wants to get in this business, I say do it. It, yeah. it's, it's nothing like it. It's nothing mm -hmm. like being in front of the camera. And I know you know that feeling. It's just like, oh, yes. Then when you get to see yourself on television and the effect that it has on other people, it just, it warms your heart, you know? It does. It does. I mean, it's something that you love to do. And like you said, the rejection just, you, you don't remember that. Yeah. I mean, because once you book, and I feel like, too, a lot of people think, Booking the job is the most rewarding part. I mean, it's great. Definitely. Yeah. We love booking the job. Yeah. But it's also sometimes about, you know, growing as a person. Yeah. And, you know, just your journey. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. A lot of, yeah, I feel with kids too, you guys grow up as you are learning about it once you're on set because you're you kind of treat it like adults. The expectation mm -hmm. is, hey, you get this done. Do you know what I mean? Because this is the TV show. We've hired you. And so you have to mature in a yeah. certain way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Totally agree. Um, so how important do you feel it is to build a good team around you? It's very important. Um, do you want to answer that? No, oh, I thought you were about to answer. I mean, it's <laughs> crucial. Really yeah, I mean, you can't do this without a good team. I've seen a lot of people ask in the comments, like, how do you get started? Mm -hmm. You get a good agent, you get a good manager. And when I say good, it doesn't mean that they have to be the, the top best. agency in the business. Right. Get someone who believes in you, who understands the vision. I know for us specifically, like I just had a, a meeting with our manager because our brand is jack of all trades. Like I'm not just an actress. Right. I am a dancer who still works as a dancer and I'm a choreographer who still works as a choreographer. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I want people to understand that I'm multifaceted, like, and yeah, you got to make sure they're on the same yeah, page. They're on the same page. And so yeah. I think that's, that's, that's truly important. And then outside of that, 
you know, who you surround yourself with is, is equally important. Mm -hmm. I tell Isaiah all the time, like, mm -hmm. your tribe is crucial. If there's somebody in your tribe that's negative or, or um, feel like you're competition or envious or jealous, remove, because there's room for everybody. That's not how we get down. You know what I mean? Yeah. My mom tells me the same thing all the time. I know. Time. I your mom, and I like your mom. Hold on. I'm going to get the charger because our phone's going to die. Okay. Um, no, but I totally agree. And I know you know Isaiah. I was just telling them earlier, like, it's so important who you surround yourself yeah. around. You know, they have to motivate you and lift you up and hold you accountable. You know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that's the only way to make it. Because with you guys mm -hmm. specifically, I'm sure you figured this out. Like, when Isaiah first started to go to school, when he was working, he struggled with being able to identify with the kids because it's when you're in the business, it's different. So then he was kind of forced to find friendships within the business because mm -hmm. you guys get each other, you know? Yeah. And so I was like, okay, well, that's awesome. But just make sure you protect your space, you protect your peace and your energy. Mm -hmm. And that not only that, that you're a good friend to other people, that you root for everybody. We pray for everybody, you know? Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's really important. I really Yeah. Exactly. You got to give that same energy back to them. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, okay. So do y'all feel like it's important to be picky with your roles? I mean, or do you just feel like you should just take advantage of every opportunity? I feel I feel like you you do have to be you do have to be picky. You need the roles that are right for you. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, I mean tell them the roles that you turned down. That yeah, the roles that I turned down. Usually the ones that have profanity. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't feel comfortable saying words. <laughs> words. Yes, words. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Third words. Certain words. Certain words. Right. I am not allowed to repeat any time. Yes. yes. Yeah. And I, I feel it. like we get so many auditions with certain words all the time, which is just like, yeah, hmm, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. the rest of your life for that if you want to choose that. But I, I think it's important to remain a kid. You're only what you're 14, right? Um, no, I'm 13. 13. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah be 13. You know. You know <laughs> right. Or we're not. It's not necessary. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. Um. Actually, I mentioned this earlier. We talked about this. We kind of covered some of the questions that I was already going to ask, <laughs> talk about. Um, so, okay, so what are some of your outlets that you enjoy outside of acting and dancing? What people know you for? There's TikTok. Hey. I can't dance but parkour and tricking, parkour and tricking, mm -hmm. parkour and tricking. For those who don't know, it's gymnastics and, well, martial arts mixed together. Kind of a fusion of those <laughs> is the stuff you see in like Marvel movies, like what Black Panther does when he's beating right. up. Yeah. Basketball too. Uh, basketball. I've gotten okay. back into basketball. I haven't played for a while, but now I'm back to making every three. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. <laughs> um, what do I do? Um, I I would have to say for me, reading. Uh, I love watching documentaries. Uh, last night I was working out to one, uh, well, I was watching one about Johnny Depp because uh, I'm a fan of his. Um, I just, I like to feed myself with just information constantly. Isaiah, it drives Isaiah crazy because we'll watch a movie and he's like, why are you on the computer? I'm like, I'm looking at this director. I'm looking at, well, I want to see an interview. I want to know how they got this part. And mm. so I, I'm just one of those weirdos like that. So I love to just watch different things and learn mm. about producing, directing, because I see myself doing that in the future. So that that's, that's pretty much it, really. Okay. Yeah. And I say a parkour is not easy at all. <laughs> oh, definitely oh. not. You can get hurt at any time. Oh, yes. Training. Training. Yeah, training really helps. Practice makes perfect, as they say. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So let's get into family reunion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so for anybody who doesn't know family reunion, it's an incredible family show with so many legends in the game. Wow. Yeah. Many legends. Um, but what really set you guys apart is the fact that you have an all black writers room which is definitely not the norm for this industry. So 
It's a first. It's a first for Netflix, actually. Yeah. Mm. Out of Netflix all, all right there. They have. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Netflix has a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh yes. 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 Wow. Um. So did you guys know like what it was gonna be when you got the audition? Because I know sometimes they don't tell you when you first get the audition. You know, like what it's gonna be about and stuff. And no. not really. We didn't know much about it. Right. Until like the second callback. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it's kind of morphed into different things, especially as the kids True. are getting older. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, yeah, know. yeah that's what I'm saying. Because sometimes they they switch the the name of the show, you know. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think they just had to feel it out because, you know, initially they thought it would be you know heavy like one or two characters, and then when the fans started watching, they gravitated to the kids and then that started to change. Mm -hmm. And so more the storyline this season is, you know, pretty much the kids. It changed mm -hmm. on, well, how they got to know us. It, yeah. it changed because of how they got to know yeah, us. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so I, I definitely, you know, think that it's important to have representation. You know, it's really, it's very necessary. So yeah. how does it feel to be a part of something so special? I mean, the fact that you guys have an all-Black writer's room, and this is the first time that it's happening on Netflix, I mean, that's just, and you're on it. That's special. Yeah, yeah. There is a lack of representation in this um, industry, so it's, it's definitely a blessing to work on one of the first shows on Netflix that has a Black writer's room, yeah. and, well, an all-Black cast, too. So yeah, and it's true. paved the way. It's paved the way for a few other projects that'll be coming out soon, like oh, the yeah. Upshaws, mm -hmm. uh, Jamie Foxx's show. So yeah. you know, I, for me, I was really happy for him and the rest of the cast that we got to experience it, it, and that it was successful. Mm -hmm. Because to be honest, I think sometimes when you come out saying this is a black show, it's all black writers it can turn some people off. And yeah. so I think Netflix is like, we're just gonna throw it up against the wall like spaghetti. And if it sticks, great. If it doesn't, you know, sorry. Mm -hmm. So I think right. yeah, I was so happy that people have embraced it and loved it. And, you know, I'm, I'm loving the fact that I get to be on it. Uh, like you said, there's so many legendary actors and I've built, you know, some really great friendships, especially with Richard Roundtree because of it. Yes. So yeah, it's, it's cool. Wow. And you guys are on it together too. Like that is such mm -hmm. a special experience. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. gonna last for a lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see I've saw a few people like, wait a minute, Brooke's mom is his mom. Because they get so confused because I play Akira's mother and we can be heroes. Right. Well. So they're like, and I played her mother in Grey's Anatomy. So people always like, wait, mm -hmm. your mom is not her mom. So yes, I see mm -hmm. people, yes, I'm the same. And we can be heroes. Huh? And we can be heroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's really weird. People think that like it's something that has kind of happened on purpose. Like people know, and that's not the case at all. Not at all. They were casted, and then mm -hmm. auditioned like three days after we got to Texas. Robert didn't even know I could act. Like it just all happened because it was supposed to. The casting director mm -hmm. didn't know anything about us, um, and she was mm -hmm. just like, Robert, I want you to see who my first pick is for this mother. And it just happened to be me. So, oh. yeah, God is, God is good. God is good all the yeah. time. Yes. OK. Um, so um, tell us a little bit about the show and your characters. The family reunion. Uh, For well, family reunion? Uh, yes, family uh, reunion. OK, so the show Family Reunion is about a family from Seattle who moves to Columbus, Georgia, to stay with their grandparents. And they have to really adapt to the new environment of Columbus, Georgia. And my character is Shaka, the smart, maybe too smart for his own good, um, <laughs> his older brother who, you know, kind of likes to torment his um, his siblings, but he, al he always, well, learns a lesson in the end, yeah. of really valuable lessons. And people, I see people asking, somebody's like, wait, are you in Honey Too? Yes, that's, I'm in Honey Too. Um, oh, I yes. You're in yeah. that too. I've, I've seen a couple people ask. Um, what I what I love about Isaiah's character quickly is uh, his rapport with Cameron and uh, who plays Mozzie. A lot of people are surprised when they find out Cameron's actually older than Isaiah in real life, even though he plays the older brother. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's like I knew that, but I didn't know that. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. Can't result oh, in real life. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I play Candy. Um, Candy initially came in in season one. It was just a fun guest star, um, sassy, competitive stepmother. And, and when I say stepmother, like our kids were um, auditioned for a step for the step team mm -hmm. and so t and so i got like really good step moms yeah so we were called step moms mm -hmm. and i thought you know what oh that was cute like the one guest star that was fun i was glad that they asked me to do it and mm -hmm. then i got asked to recur this season so um wow. i'm really excited for people to see you know candy in a more chill space because everyone's like she was so competitive last season right we're we're obviously friends with the McKellens now, and um, I. Well, I guess I was about to say. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I'll look straight at you. Well, I, I, I will say this: I'm a part of the Christmas special, and it's it's just really special to me. It's it's gonna be great. They allowed all of us to sing, dance, and act, and so it's a musical episode that I just I think we were all grinning from ear to ear because we were able to be a part of it together. So. It's right. getting really good. Really Ooh, good. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Great show. I watch it too. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you said um a musical episode, right? So you're yes. dancing and you're doing now you guys shot this during COVID, right? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. mm. Now yeah. I can only imagine how that was with face shields and masks on, dancing and sweating. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. That means a lot, but we got through it. We, we got, got through it. it. Yeah, uh -huh. it was it was it was interesting. Like even trying to usually you know when you record music for the show you can go in with the cast everybody can you know vibe off yeah, each, each other, each other. But right. with the COVID, we had to go on one at a time so, so we had to listen through the um headphones yeah so mm -hmm. it, it was it was very strange like specifically mm -hmm. with my role um my girlfriend in it is monique coleman who was in high school musical mm -hmm. and so we kind of piggyback off of each other in this one particular song and i was like she's not here like this is weird so it yeah, COVID has really like made things interesting, but it, it's still gonna be a great episode. Okay, I'm excited for that one. Get ready, people at home, get ready. This sounds yeah. great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, so how does it feel to perform in front of a live audience? Because I I know that must be cool. Because that that's something that I've always wanted to do. Well, you don't do that for your show. No, we don't do that. It's but oh. it's it's interesting because most. Most Disney shows usually have a live audience. Yeah. yeah. With the way it is with present day and nineties, it's it's it takes up most of the set. Because we have to have two living rooms, two kitchens, you know, so Oh, oh. wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, performing for a live audience is so fun. We get to feed out the energy of the audience, you know, the laughs. Sometimes yeah. it, it <laughs> sometimes I break character when they laugh at a joke. Mm-hmm. But uh, performing in front of a live audience is a great experience. I, mean, I miss it. I, oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't think shows can will be do it doing because that. because of COVID. Yeah, we had to stop. I know. That's true. It, yeah. Everything's just so weird now. It is. You know? It is. It is. Like, nothing like feels the same audience. anymore. Yeah, yeah, it isn't. I like the live audience because in real time, you know if you're funny or not. You yeah. know, you know this right. is, you know, tell a joke. You know, the crew is used to hearing it, so it's crickets, and you're like, yeah, yeah with the live audience, right? And yeah. hey, you thought it was funny? Yeah, and then you can sometimes oh. pump up, you know, the jokes, and the writers are like, okay, they get inspired, so then they'll have you try different lines, and so yeah, that, you're, that energy is you're feeding off of each other, you know? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So, when is the uh, new season getting started, and what can we expect? I know you talked a little bit about it, but what can we expect? <laughs> the new season is coming April fifth. You can expect. April 5th. So that's right plot. around the corner. Mm -hmm. You can expect some plot twists. Just gonna prepare you for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because that's a lot of detail. <laughs> no, I don't want. I don't want to say too much. I will give away a plot. Yeah, in a heartbeat. So <laughs> Me too. I have to watch myself in interviews. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. but I mean, it did. It, it, and I don't want to get tricked into it. <laughs> oh no! Say what you can. Say what you it's, can. Yeah. Just Jared, it came out that you, who's playing your girlfriend. Oh, yeah, uh, Jada Marie from um, Jada. Phantoms. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. She's really nice. As, as a girlfriend. <laughs> and oh, come cool. on, Shaka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, he was, he's going out on dates this season. I was like, oh gosh, here we go. This is oh, wow. time I can actually go on a date. Which will be no time soon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's no, it's really cute. I, it was fun to watch um, some of the new uh, guest cast come in. Um, mm -hmm. I specifically fell in love with Zachary Williams, who mm -hmm. will recur as uh, Jade's boyfriend. He's on so many Netflix projects. What is the one that I'm not okay with I this? I'm not okay with this? Yeah. Or is it just I'm not okay? I'm not okay with this. Or something okay. like that. Yeah. Uh, well, sorry, Zach. Uh, but uh, <laughs> he has like multiple things on Netflix right now. And then he joined our cast this season. And he's just adorable. Really, mm -hmm. really talented. So. And a really, really nice guy. Yeah. That's great. I oh, can't and, wait. And Noni Rose. That was like the ultimate. Princess has a Yes, <laughs> me. I love her, and she's so sweet. So yeah, I was fangirling as a mom, like in the stands. I was fanboying because Princess and the Frog is my movie back yeah. in the day. <laughs> yes, wow, that's that's amazing. Y'all got me hyped up. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> all right. Um, so moving on. Look, I can't even cover all the stuff y'all did in one interview. Anyway, all right, moving on to We Can Be Heroes, um, which is your latest movie on Netflix. And that movie is breaking records. I mean, I day by day. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. It's yes. really weird. Like, we we have moved on to other stuff. So, you know, when you get the tags or, fame, or even Robert will post something like, Hey, we're still top 10 and we're the number two most watched movie in Netflix history, um, which is bananas when you think about all the movies. I know. Know. <laughs> yeah, I think Despicable Me is still holding number one, but we're really close. So that's crazy. So keep watching, guys, so we can be number one. Keep watching. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I know when you think about like all the movies. Out of all, like this is Netflix. We talk, and they got tons of movies. Yeah. Oh yes. But you know what? To me, it's a testament to the fact that families have been thirsting to be able to sit down as a whole and watch a movie. Yeah. I don't know if your mom is like me, but you know, I'll look at something. I'm like, wait, let me look at it first because I don't know if it's appropriate. Because now, you know, some of this content, you know, just. For me as a parent, I don't think it's appropriate. But with, you know, We Can Be Heroes, you have an incredible adult cast and so many talented young kids, yeah. you know, in the project. So, you know, it it just melts my heart when six-year-olds are, like, sending in, you know, messages saying they want to be rewind and fast forward. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool. Oh, I see someone say my sister's watched it a hundred times. Yeah, that is just really, really special to, to all of us. So... And then for us to like make history together is still. I know. I was just about to say the first real life mother son to be cast as superheroes. Like that is crazy. Yeah. And I mean, this is not the first thing that you guys have worked on together. I mean, wow. It's yeah. but it's the first thing we worked on as mother and son. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, but I mean, like, what was your reaction when you found out that you were going to be working together? Oh, it happened so it, it weird. Happened. Like it was, it was weird. a weird process because I I auditioned for it like three days after we got to Texas, and I was um, like, "Don't tell anybody I'm auditioning for this because if I don't get it, like it'll be a little embarrassing. I'll be embarrassed." So I auditioned for it before he even started filming. They were just down there, like getting to know each other, and um, that was it. Like it was crickets for like six yes. years. Wow. So I'm I them nothing film, about it. And I'm hearing about all the adults that are attached. And it was like, okay, I guess I didn't get this. And um I was walking out of like I think we were going uh we were going to get lunch. Yeah, it's something. And Robert was like, Hey, um, because I didn't really talk to Robert that much. When I'm a parent, I'm really when I'm the parent on set quiet, yeah, I don't talk to you. Um yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not in the director's face, not my thing. But he comes up to me and he's like, you're an actor. I saw your tape. Like, whoa, like, why didn't you say anything? Well, I was like, Robert, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, by the way, I was not that parent. So he was like, yeah, OK. Well, I mean, do you, you work a lot? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm recurring on a Netflix show now. And, you know, and I'm just talking to him. He's like, OK. And then he walks off. 
So I looked at one of the other parents like, <laughs> I looked at did my I, mom did I like, get it? You know, like, what just happened? What just happened? Okay. And then two weeks go by. And then um, he just comes up to me and he's like, welcome, welcome to the team. team. <laughs> two weeks after that, right? Like, not Whoa. at all. He's just like, welcome to the team. I was like, what team? What team? He was like, oh, yeah, we're going to bring your mother. You know, we're going to be his mom. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. So it I was. Didn't, it just caught me off guard. So I didn't, I think people were like, what, when you got the call from your agent? No, it was just really like, uh, see you later. And you got the project. So right. it was just, it was weird. And a lot of the stuff Isaiah filmed, um, when he was like yelling out mom and all that stuff, I was, wasn't even casted yet. So I didn't I, know my the mom parents, was going to be my mom. Yeah, the parents worked after the kids were done. So oh, it was, wow. yeah, it was really interesting. We only did one scene together. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very, very interesting process, but we're so grateful for it. Oh, yes. We're, we're excited about part two. That should be really fun. Oh, I know. I'm excited, too, because I watched the movie. It's real good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Um, I know. I see somebody in the comments said, look at God. Look at him, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so um, it for anybody who hasn't watched it, it's such a great family movie. Like you mentioned earlier, it's just... It's hard to find stuff that you can just watch, you know, with the whole family and everybody can kind of relate to it and laugh, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's light. So, it's, it's a light. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, um, now Isaiah, I know we were talking about parkour earlier. Now you did some of that in the movie, which is just yeah. like crazy. Were you excited to, you know, put your skills to work? Yes, I was so excited to show them what I could do. We yeah. had weeks of stunt training, so I got to, you know, prepare them for what I was going to do before they told me what I could and couldn't do. <laughs> right. And I put out some really dangerous tricks. They're like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can do that, but you you can do that backflip. Right. The harness work. I was like, okay, I'm good either way. Because part <laughs> is so fun. He said, I'm prepared either way. Whatever yeah. y'all want me to do, I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's great. And that's a great skill to have, too. Thank yeah. you. Yes, yes, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so what is one thing that you both loved about shooting the film besides working together? Like I said, I love stunt training. Stunt uh -huh. training is fun. Well, it was nice. This is not a cool yeah. answer, but it was nice to be home. We're yes. from Texas. We were filming in Texas. That's true. Oh, yeah. I can only imagine. So it just made it even more special. Yep. We were able to have family members come and watch uh -huh. and, mm -hmm. you know, obviously and get to know. We weren't shooting. We were yeah, able to go Yeah, there. and hang out with family. But then also, I'm a huge fan of uh, Pedro Pascal So and Christian Slater. So to, you know, I mean, I love my son, but to look at them on set mm -hmm. with me, it's like, holy smokes, I grew up watching you guys. So that was really special, you know, for me. But yeah, I mean, there's just the takeaway of it all. It's rare to be able to do a movie like that. There's not right. a lot of them. I think that's why it's so successful because it's such a huge cast. Um, but it, it's really special. So we're we're excited that they announced part two, and we're just we're dying to get our hands on that script and see what's yeah. what's next. Oh, I can only imagine. Yeah. Yes. Waiting at the edge of y'all seat ready yeah yeah and by the way i mean i i'll tell you i don't know how i forgot this the most special part was being black superheroes um mm -hmm. you rarely one more time for the people in the back yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you rarely see that and i thought it was really special because oftentimes on you know films and tv we're represented in light where you know African-American kids only come from single parent homes. And although that's our reality, I love that in this film, you see an entire family. Right. We're the only like, in, you know, it's four of us. Right. Opposed to, you know, the two or three family members for some of the other cast. So right. that was really, really special. I love that there was so much diversity in this mm -hmm. film. And even when you yeah. look at the billboard, you know, I was excited to see us. But it was just right. a rainbow. You had Asian, Indian, you had everything. And I'm like, that's what movies and films should look like now. Mm -hmm. What this exactly. world. So, yeah. yeah. It, that's crazy. The fact that you guys are on a billboard. 
<laughs> yeah, like, what was your reaction to that? That, that like, definitely threw, it. threw us all the way off. We had no idea. Someone just sent it to me because they were so driving. Good. And when they sent it, I literally she screamed. I screamed. And she it was screamed. 11 o'clock at night. Uh -huh. We got in the car and went at midnight. Because uh -huh. I just could not fathom that we were on a billboard together. Right. Bananas. Nobody told us. And yeah. seeing it in person was even, yeah. even better. Yeah. Right. Mm. Wow. That's that's blessings. Yeah. Blessings. Blessings. <laughs> yes. Wow. Um. So now that you both have done TV and film, do you have a preference? No. Mm. No. We just want to do it all. Do it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Commercials. Everything. I have a commercial running right now. You know we both model a lot and mm -hmm. just got a nike yeah. campaign like it's like let's go for it we're gonna do it all mm -hmm. yeah why not yeah. yeah okay um so what can we expect from you guys in the near future what what you can say i know what what if you oh, can say i anything. can't really say anything then <laughs> did you just say can I? no just say you landed did you okay say? i landed a project <laughs> there it is. I, 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 <laughs> that's all we need to know. Oh, thank you. I'm bye -bye. No, I'm joking. I, I landed a project. a project. You know what? He landed a, a huge feature, oh, film. Oh, feature film. Oh wow! I hope I'm allowed to say that. No, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm still like, like I'm. My eyes are glossing over because I'm so <laughs> proud of him, and <laughs> we can't wait to share it with everyone. It's one of his dream, you know, projects. <laughs> Uh, so that's awesome. And then I just landed a, a, a TV show. So he's doing film. Look doing at y'all. Wow. Yeah. Look at y'all. So, yeah, we're we're just like, kind of like, okay, just shaking and baking. Yeah, and I'm definitely excited to be working at this, at this point in time. At this time, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Wow. That yeah. is amazing. I can't wait. I'll be watching. Thank <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> yes. Um, well, that's the end of the interview. All right. Um, thank y'all so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Um, before we go, though, we'll answer, like, a few fan questions in the comments. Um, let's see. Hi, guys. What's up, guys? What's up? Thank y'all for watching. If y'all have any questions, put it in the comments, and we'll uh, they'll answer. It's a lot of hearts. <laughs> right. Like, hey, Loving it's... the hearts. Love hey, it. Hey. Isaiah, I don't know that is. Yeah. Okay, hello, hi, hi, big, big fan, awesome. Hey, if you have what any questions, I... feel free. Yeah. Oh, this one. <laughs> um, I what like is your you favorite asked, color? Said uh, you, you asked. Right? You asked so many good questions. I feel like everybody's just like, hi, because you covered everything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> how How is it like working with Priyanka? Oh, um, Priyanka's great. Priyanka's great. Uh, a little scoop for you guys. I actually used to dance for Priyanka Chopra. Believe it or not, I'm in one wow. of her videos. Yeah, in a, in a um, Pepsi commercial with her. So I, I knew her as my boss first. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Um, well, uh, uh, hmm. When are you making another superhero movie? We don't know. So we, we yeah, don't know. So we don't know when, 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 when we're going to start filming the sequel. But I'm sure. Oh. oh, you guys don't even know yet. Okay. No. Uh -uh. Um, How tall are you guys? Somebody asked. Jennifer. That's an interesting question. Um, I, I'm like five, seven, um, -ish, some um, ish, somewhere in there. I'm, I'm kind of tall. much taller than my mom. Yeah, he's just a little bit taller. Well, I, I, yeah, it's been a minute since I've even checked my height, but somewhere in there, I'm actually kind of tall for a female in the business. <laughs> um, do you like Family Reunion? Yes. Who is your favorite black mm -hmm. actor? Oh, you want to be specific? You're like <laughs> <a> black specific, <laughs> yeah. right? I came um, ready. I have so many. Mm -hmm. I like so many people for different reasons. Um, mm -hmm. From, you know, Denzel to Angela Bassett, you know, there's just so many talented uh, actors. Right now, I'm obsessed with Daniel from, um, I think most people know him from Get Out, but he has the, the new movie that also just came Black out. Panther. Yeah, he's in Black Panther. I just think he's so talented. Um, 
What about you? Uh, I gotta say Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace. Yes. Yes, one of my favorite actors. Um, Denzel, Denzel Washington. Uh, Will Smith. Will Smith. No, Will, can't go wrong with Will. Yeah, yeah. no, you can't. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that whole family. Do you oh, follow yes. them on YouTube? Um, page is like no, I don't think I do. Oh, you should. They're oh, right. no, but yeah. I'm, I always look at his YouTube videos. Like, he be keeping me entertained. Yes. Oh, yeah. He be vlogging and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. We'll answer uh, one more question. Um, Was it surprised to see, see Akira again? I was just about to read that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, I wasn't surprised. They knew they got it um, mm -hmm. together. So, yeah, we got it to get, uh, together. Yeah. Who's your, who's your celebrity crush? Who's your favorite singer? Oh, celebrity! Oh, you have a celebrity crush? Oh, I, I didn't know this. That. <laughs> She's out. Uh, okay, I'll get back to you on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> favorite singer? Favorite singer? Hmm. Hmm. This is a hard question. I don't really have one. Yeah. Okay. You have one? No. You know what? I'm just gonna put it down. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah, I mean, I uh, there's Michael the Jackson. usual suspects: Whitney Houston, Ryan Carey, Michael Jackson. You know, like right there. They're all great. Um, who's new out? Uh, I love her. Oh, I like her too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's good. Yeah. Um. Well. Um. That concludes the interview. <laughs> you have some questions. Um. I really. Appreciate it. Thank y'all for coming on. I had a great Thank time. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm so us. happy for you and proud of you. Thank you. You just keep going, sweetheart. Thank you. I'm proud uh, of y'all too. Yeah, we can't wait to support Under Wraps. It's a really cute yeah. project. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, when does that, that come out? Do you know? Um, say that again. Do you know when it comes out? No. Okay. No. Well, I think I, I can't say. Okay. Right. <laughs> I, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you let um, us know. Okay. And before you go, please let everybody know where they can follow you guys. Oh. All right. So my Instagram is at Isaiah Russell Bailey. And mine is B Perry Russell. And then our TikTok is Russell, Russell Hustle Inc. Hey, you got to go follow Russell Hustle Inc. Now. Yes. And we have an Instagram page, fam family page, uh, Russell oh. Hustle Inc. So, yeah, we'll be uploading, like, more of our TikToks and stuff because it's kind of hard to put it on our individual pages mm -hmm. all the time. So, right. yeah. And then family right. comes out April 5th. Hey, check it out. All right. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for coming right. on. I hope to meet y'all soon. Good little dance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right. Uh, all right, y'all. Peace out. Stay safe. All right. You too. All right. Bye-bye. All right. All right. That was so fun. I had so much fun. Thank y'all so much for joining. Um, if you guys don't know, for the new people here, um, every Saturday I do this Kicking It With Christian. I interview somebody and we catch up with them, see what they've been doing during quarantine, and, uh, you know, let, let the people at home get to know a little bit more about them. Uh, but thank y'all so much for joining, and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.